Yes. And you need? Sure. Revan, I knew you'd come for me. You're wasting your time. I've seen the Jedi for what they are, weak and afraid. The Sith are the true masters of the Force. You've forgotten that lesson, Revan. Now you must pay the price. Here on the Star Forge, the power of the Dark Side is at its strongest. This time, you will not defeat me. shell of your former self. You're still a formidable opponent. I can't even imagine the power you must have wielded when you were the Dark Lord. You were a fool to give it all up and follow the light side. The dark side has made me stronger than I ever was before. I have a greater command of the Force than all but the most powerful Jedi Masters. As Malak teaches me the greatest secrets of the Sith, I will unlock more of my potential. Eventually, there'll be no limit to what I can accomplish with the Force. Have you forgotten the ways of the Sith already, Revan? Eventually, I will challenge my master. If I am worthy, he will die by my hand, and I will become the new Sith Master. Then I will take on my own apprentice, and the cycle will begin again. This is the way of the Sith. It is how we assure our leaders are always the strongest and most worthy. No, Revan. It is you who are doomed. Dark side will always triumph over the light. Malak has assured me of victory. You can't defeat me here on the Star Forge. You can't. rejected the dark side. You are a weak and pathetic servant of the light. How can you still stand against me? Why can't I defeat you? Yes, I see you speak the truth. I am no match for you. Please, for the sake of what we once shared, do not make me suffer. End my life quickly. There is no other way. What are the choice you have? I have fallen to the dark side. I am the apprentice to the Dark Lord himself. You cannot let me live. No, I am not strong enough. There is too much anger inside me now. Too much hatred and fear. I can no longer find peace in the Force. You always had more strength than I did. I told you that. I felt so helpless before your destiny. You were Revan and I couldn't tell you. It was agonizing. Even worse when I began to feel closer to you. 
I despised myself for it. And even now, I feel your strength. It does help me. Thank you. I think I can face the end now. If you were the one to end it for me. I know a flicker of the light still burns within me. Malik felt it too. He knew it could only be extinguished if I killed you. But what good is a single flicker of light against the sea of darkness I am drowning in? I can never atone for my betrayal. You love me. There was a time I yearned for, and yet dreaded to hear those words. I loved you too, but I could never face who you were. Malak knew how I felt. Any part of the light that was within me would be extinguished when I killed you. But what good is love? It cannot save me from the sea of blackness I am drowning in. I have betrayed everything I ever believed in. How can I atone for that? Yes, I could join you in your battle against the Dark Lord. That alone would not make up for all I have done. Yet it would be a step in the right direction. But how would you be able to trust me? How do you know I wouldn't turn on you when you face Darth Malak? How do you know the dark side wouldn't make me betray you again? You play a dangerous game. Are you certain you wish to take this risk? I could end your life and gain Malak's favor with a single stroke of my lightsaber. You are brave, and some would say foolish. But you are also right. The dark side has not wholly consumed me. I cannot raise my blade against you. You will go on to defeat Malak. Of this I have little doubt. He will have gone from being the Sith Lord himself to the savior of our galaxy. And you said you loved me. This may not be the best time to say it, but I love you too, with all my heart. After this? No. Nothing could make me feel safer than to be loved by you. You should go. Malak awaits. This isn't over yet. For any of us. I should stay here, though. If we face Malak, I am afraid his dark presence will overwhelm me. It would not be wise to expose myself to such temptation. Yes, that would be for the best. You don't need me to defeat Malak anyway. Now I understand that a true Jedi is a match for any Sith, even the Dark Lord himself. I will stay here in this chamber and use my battle meditation to aid the Republic fleet. I am their only hope of destroying the Star Forge and ending the Sith menace. You must go and face Malak, but you have to hurry. Once I turn the battle in the Republic's favor, we won't have much time to escape the Star Forge before it's destroyed. Good luck, my love, and may the Force be with you. Sith formations. Green Squadron, move in. Green Squadron, moving in. Green Squadron's through. We've broken their lines. Astala is no longer using her battle meditation against us. The tide has turned. Red Squadron, into the breach. Capital ships, reinforce their position.
of mercy, Revan. I would rather die. Spoken like a true slave of the Jedi Code. Save your preaching, Revan. I will have none of it. You are an insignificant speck beneath my notice. I have surpassed you in every way and accomplished what you never could. I have unleashed the full potential of this Rakatan factory. You had no idea of the power within this place. Its very walls are alive with dark side energies. And now, my old master, I will let the Star Forge itself destroy you.
Seven, I was certain the defenses of the Starforge would destroy you. But I see there is more of your old self in you than I expected. You are stronger than I thought. Stronger than you ever were during your reign as the Dark Lord. I did not think that was possible. No, Revan. This time our confrontation can only end in death. Yours or mine. Once again, we shall face each other in single combat. And the victor will decide the fate of the galaxy. the Republic. You are blind, Revan. Blind and stupid. The Starforge is more than just a space station. In some ways, it is like a living creature. It hungers, and it can feed on the dark side that is within all of us. Look around you, Revan. See the bodies? You should recognize them from the Academy. These are Jedi who fell when I attacked Dantooine. For all intents and purposes, dead. Except for one difference. I have not let them become one with the Force. Instead, I have brought them here. The Starforge corrupts what remains of their power and transfers the Dark Taint to me. Cannot beat me, Revan. Not here on the Starforge. Not when I can draw upon the power of all these Jedi. And once you are beaten, I will do the same to you. You will be trapped in a terrible existence between life and death. Your power feeding me as I conquer the galaxy. <laughs> on this will get a nasty shock. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. Nasty shock. Nasty shock. <laughs> 
don't think anyone actually expected that he could be redeemed. I'm surprised you would even think of trying. There's no time to celebrate just yet. I was able to use my battle meditation to allow the Republic to break through the Sith fleet. The capital ships are in bombardment range. And that means we all have to get out of here right now before this entire complex comes down around our ears. Everyone else is already on the ship. Let's move. Everyone pull back. I don't want to lose any ships when that space station goes down. We did it, Vandar. The Sith are routed, and the Starforge destroyed. But at what cost, Admiral? Where is the Ebon Hawk and her crew? the victory party without us, Admiral. I'm sending an honor guard to escort you in. You'll be getting a hero's welcome when we all get home. You have defeated Malik, destroyed the Starforge, and broken the spirit of the Sith. For this, I am proud to present you each with the Cross of Glory, the highest honor the Republic can bestow. From Coruscant to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rims, you will be known as the Saviors of the Republic. On behalf of the Jedi Council, defenders of the galaxy, and sworn protectors of the Republic, I, too, would like to honor you for your actions. We Jedi now have another tale to weave into the grand history of our eternal order. The redemption of Revan, the prodigal knight. Wherever you go, you will be recognized as the saviors of the galaxy, the heroes of our age. But you must remain ever vigilant, for one day, you may be called upon yet again to defend the glory of the Republic against the tyranny of the dark side. This is the destiny of the Jedi.